Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Mags of Money G. Yes, it's time to do another tag video. This time, it's the Trash Picture Show's Resident Evil Game Tag. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, I was tagged by my good friend Lisa Davies from Lisa Loves. So, yeah, she tagged me. This is a tag from my good friend Marty from the Trash Picture Show. This is the Resident Evil Game Tag. Now, of course, we are not talking about the movies. A lot of people don't like the movies. I actually like the movies, except for the last one. I actually have all six movies. I have a digital copy for all six movies saved. Uh, but we won't. We're not talking about them. This is one of my favorite uh, horror survivor games I ever played, and that's Resident Evil. I have played all the games, and now I'm talking about the main games, not those uh, Resident Evil Survivor or Gaten and um, what's it, Outbreak, and those. Nah, I ain't even play with those because they weren't part of the main storyline. Other than Resident Evil 7, I played them all. As a matter of fact, I'm right now playing the remake of Resident Evil 2. So, what a great way to do this tag. <laughs> now, there are six questions to this tag. Let's get ready for question number one. Question number one is, favorite Resident Evil game. Now, I liked all the games except for six. Uh, six was a downgrade uh, from all the Resident Evil games. I actually started with five. Now, I didn't have a problem with five. Uh, but it seemed to gear toward uh, more action-oriented uh, action games like Call of Duty or whatever those games are called where you just go around shooting a bunch of bad guys and blow shit up. <laughs> That's basically what uh, those games, especially in 6, 6 was a total disaster. Now, what they did was they tried to bring back some of the horror elements. Uh, a lot of people complained about there was no zombies in 5 because they were trying to do the same thing in 5. What they did in 4 was not have zombies included in the game. So they decided to bring that up in Leon's scenario. But it was still, eh, but anyway, but uh, I digressed. <laughs> Obviously, my favorite game in the series is the original uh, Resident Evil 2. Uh, I didn't play Resident Evil 1 until later on. Uh, in the series, so I was uh, more uh, contempt, more in line to go with Resident Evil 2. Not that I, I didn't enjoy 1, but because it's I played Resident Evil 2 first, I always will have preference to that game as well. So my favorite Resident Evil game is Resident Evil 2. Uh, question number 2, favorite Resident Evil hero in the series. Now, you know you have your uh, Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, you know, the, the major players have been in all the games. Um, I always like to go against the grain. I'm going to go up. I believe it's Shev, no, um, Ricardo Chavez in Resident Evil 3. I think I got his name right. Actually, his name is Carlos Oliveira. Uh, I believe I pronounced that right. <laughs> yeah, I prefer, I think he's the best hero because he's he's the one that uh, wants to get, you know, wants to do the right thing, even though they uh, even though they know they work for Umbrella, but he still wants to do the right thing. And he believes that in his heart, he is doing the right thing, even though we all know Umbrella is a monster company. So that's going to be my favorite hero in the series, Carlos. Uh, question number three, favorite Resident Evil human villain in the series? Oh, it's better than Wesker. <laughs> you can't stop Wesker. <laughs> oh, man. The guy was the diabolical. <laughs> uh, anyone that got in his way, he killed. I mean, he just he was just a badass. I mean, you can't beat Wesker. I mean, so obviously, favorite evil villain in the series is going to be Albert Wesker. Question number four, favorite monster creature in the series? <laughs> Now, there are some decent monsters that have been in the series since the series first started. Uh, you actually had the Hunters in 1, you had the Lickers in 2, uh, you had more Hunters in 3, uh, you had those Chainsaw uh, guys in 4. So you always had some incredible uh, uh, monsters. But well, how can you top the Lickers? <laughs> They're blind. They can't see shit, but... Man, if you ever got in their way, they they can zap you with their claw. They can rake you to death with their claws, and then their tongues. They're so long, they could probably gouge out your ton uh, tonsil with just one strike. So obviously, favorite creature in the series will be the lickers. Question number five: Favorite boss monster creature in the series. And without a doubt, would have to be Nemesis. <laughs> I mean, when you first start playing Resident Evil Three, when he first comes onto the scene. You know, uh, first he kills Brad, and then he goes, stars. <laughs> he 
can't top that. <laughs> I mean, you can't do any better than that. So I was the favorite monster, uh, boss monster in the creature series, Nemesis. Uh, and finally, the last question, question number six, who is your favorite Resident Evil crush? Now, I don't consider this a crush at all because, uh, you know, as much as I consider this more as an admiration and the fact that, uh, obviously, I love the fact that when they introduced Sheva in Resident Evil 5, uh, I thought there was a very uh, nice way to complement the storyline. I mean, not only do you finally get an Afro-American uh, co-star in the film, you know, she's actually African. So I really appreciate the creators of Resident Evil to go ahead on the design and create an Afro-American, not just a, a black female, but an African, an actual African female. So my uh, favorite, wouldn't, I wouldn't say crush, but if you want to call it a crush, so be it would be Shava from Resident Evil 5. And uh, that's it for the tag. I want to uh, thank Lisa David for tagging me and doing this tag because uh, she knows that I love the Resident Evil game. I actually found out just today that her husband actually bought her the game and she's playing it. I actually saw one of her Let's Plays. And I also want to thank, obviously, my good friend Marty for creating this tag. I know he's a huge Resident Evil fan, so thank you, Lisa, and thank you, Marty, as well. Now, obviously, this comes to the part where I'm supposed to tag people, but I'm going to do what I normally do. If you're watching this film, right, if you watch this video right now, you've now been officially tagged by the horror Mizamani G. And if you do to this tag, make sure you do give the trash picture short credit because this is Marty's tag. Well, once again, that's my video for the day, guys, and I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel a lot. And once again, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the Horror Mice of Money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Mice of Money G. And always remember, horror rules. This time, we'll let the nemesis take us home. We're out. Stars.